It's Sean and RJ on the home of America's team. Four for 160, 126 guaranteed. And this line jumps out more than any other one of all the Twitter reaction and the fan text and the analysts. It's this one from Mike Florio that really jumped out the most. ProFootballTalk.com. Dak's contract easily can be called the best contract ever signed by any player in league history. And I texted Mike, and I was like, you got to come on to explain why for a few minutes. Know that you're busy. Florio, good morning. Why is this the best deal ever? Well, you've got the biggest signing bonus ever given to a player, $66 million. You've got the biggest cash payout in the first year of the deal ever. $75 million. You've got the highest total guarantee at signing, $95 million. Full guarantee, not injury stuff. It's fully guaranteed that it'll make $95 million. And that's just over the first two years. Then you've got another $31 million in injury guarantees on top of it. Those become full guarantees next March. So the only way to avoid paying him the extra $31 million in year three is to cut him after one year and let him walk away with $95 million for one year of service. So it's a great deal from that perspective. It blows away that $160 million over four, four years. It blows away the payouts made under the first four years of the current quarterback contracts for all of them, every one of them. Russell Wilson, $29 million more. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, even more than that beyond what he made over the first four years of his deal. $59 million more over the first four years of what Patrick Mahomes is making under his current contract. So it's a great deal, and it's only four years. It's only four years. They've set it up multiple different ways that he can't be franchise tagged when this thing's done. They'll likely be back at the table three years from now. So it'll be three years, $126 million, and then another new deal three years from now where the Cowboys will be looking at Dak Prescott becoming an unrestricted free agent with no ability to hold him in place after the 2024 season. Mike, if this was Todd France and Jerry and Steven in the ring, uh, how did the bout end up? Was this a knockout for Todd France? Was this win by decision? Was this almost a draw? How, how, how would this score in the boxing ring? Oh, I think this would be Jerry and Steven punched themselves in the crotch two years ago and <laughs> fell down and Todd just stood there and watched and let it happen. <laughs> because what they should... Now, now this, is the, this is the challenge. This is the dilemma. Because there are cautionary tales this year from Jared Goff and Carson Wentz, guys who got big contracts after three NFL seasons and their teams regretted them after five seasons. But you know your quarterback better than anyone. And the Cowboys clearly are all in with Dak. They went highest level franchise tag last year, the Cadillac version, the exclusive version. So what they should have done after three years is they should have made him an offer he can't refuse then Right after the third regular season ends, I've said this before, the week between the end of the regular season and the wild card game that they won at home against Seattle. Get a deal done then. Make him a huge offer. Give him life-changing money. And you're going to get him a lot cheaper than if you play this out. Let him become a, a, a franchise tag player the first time. Fail to work out a long-term deal based on that leverage he had of $31.4 million. And then now... And, and this was the easiest way to look at it. He had $37.68 million in hand for this year if they would have tagged him, and they would have. And then next year, most likely, he's on the open market. So they got to give him something that gets him to say, I'll take this long-term deal over what I could otherwise do. And he did it, and they did it, and that's the kind of deal that you get when you have that kind of leverage. What other quarterbacks make doesn't really matter. He had the leverage, and they had to do it. Otherwise, it was going to be one more year with Dak, and then he walks away. Mike, you mentioned that there's a – basically they, they could cut him for one year for 96. Let's say worst-case scenario for them, that there's issues with the ankle. Are there other outs for them protection-wise, injury protection-wise, other outs that would be able to allow them to get out of the deal, assuming the worst case in his ankle isn't near what they hope it is? I'm not aware of any, and there's no reason to agree to any because, again, the other alternative was – Franchise tender, $37.68 million, unequivocal, unconditional, fully guaranteed from the moment he accepts that. So they're, they're stuck with whatever condition he's currently in, and he's got $126 million that he's going to make over the next three years. If there's a problem with that ankle and he can't play a down next year, the year after the year after that, they're still paying him $126 million, which tells me 
they feel pretty damn good about where his ankle currently is.